Hi, my name is Carol Ann Bick. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I have my Master's of Science in Social Work, and I've been working with foster children for over 20 years. So I started my career working in therapeutic foster care, which is basically working with children that it's difficult to find a family for because they have special needs. And our agency got their adoption license, so then I started working with both uh, kids in foster care that were needing to have permanent homes through adoption and also kids that were being placed with family members who were going to be adopting them such as grandparents, aunts, uncles, sisters, things like that. My name is Jim Brown and I am the Deputy Director of Arts Council Santa Cruz County. Nate Acevedo. I go to Bradley School and um, I'm 12. Currently, I've just started working in a program called the Kinship Support Service Program, which works exclusively with children that are placed with, in their biological family. So they're with their grandparents or maybe even a sibling. And the reason that um, we're focusing on doing that now it, both in Santa Cruz County and in California is that there's a much higher success rate of children staying placed in families that are theirs biologically. Uh, it was hard. Um, taking away from my parents. Um, I was at a young age four I'm pretty sure um, so I don't really remember much of it but it was still hard especially going like to a new family was kind of hard too well I started working with foster children in 1989 and the focus was pretty much on keeping kids in foster homes and supporting the foster homes. The biggest change that's occurred over the last 20 years is that there's been a real effort to try to get kids placed within their biological family and more recently to very much support their biological family. A lot of children that are in foster care have suffered trauma and loss and um, being placed with relatives creates a situation that's more stable, but the children still need a lot of support to overcome the traumatic experiences that they've had. So now we're offering support to these grandparents and aunts and uncles who are providing care for their relatives who are in the foster care system. And I think it's great because the children are able to keep a lot of their extended family and their cultural identity when they are placed with relatives. Of course, you can't have children move into your house and into your life and not be affected. Um, my life is completely different than it was. Um, the kids came to live with me when I was about 54, I'm sorry, 44 years old, and uh, my life was well established at that point, and, uh, and my life is now completely different. I'm a parent. It's, uh, it's now, it used to be work was the most important thing in my life, and now having kids is so huge impact. Better than I would have been um, with my uh, biological family and they gave me more chances to succeed in life. I think it really depends on what happens, uh, where the kids end up. I think that there's a lot of, of good, healthy couples that are interested in having babies, but I think it's hard for uh, foster kids who are older and get taken away from uh, the, their parents when they're older. Um, it's harder for them to find parents that, that want them. And I know that there's a lot of kids that end up in group homes 
um, and kids that bounce around from home to home because the um, foster parents aren't really equipped or prepared to handle them. So in those cases, I don't think it's a great system. I think that uh, when you go through the foster system, they make it very clear that, uh, that their goal is to find the, the, uh, the forever family for these kids. And the whole notion of a forever family is adoption. So the goal is always adoption. The foster care system is just a stepping stone along the way. Um, unfortunately, it's not. Um, unfortunately, it's not always. Uh, they don't aren't always successfully able to place um, foster kids with adoptive families. So. You know, I always wanted to be a parent uh, uh, from the time I was a little kid. But by the time I was in my mid-40s, or my early 40s, I had decided it was too late. And, uh, and then, um, literally, the three kids moved into my house. Um, I live on a piece of property with my mother, and she, without talking to me about it, uh, decided to foster three kids. And so, uh, so they came to live here with her as the foster parent, and we all thought it was going to be a temporary circumstance. But unfortunately, the kids were not able to be reunited with their birth parents. So, uh, so, and my mom couldn't foster them long term. So, I stepped in and uh, and decided to foster the kids. I stay in contact with my parents. Um, it's kind of hard to see them, but I see my mom every like I don't know, every once in a while. I think parenting, whether it's foster parenting or parenting children, is, uh, is always challenging and hard um, and like anything in life is filled with positive and negative experiences, but um, my, my sense is that um, the negative experiences have, have helped me grow as a person. I'm very fond of saying that I would never have grown up in the way that I have if I hadn't been a parent. So I, I'm very pleased to have been a parent and, and wouldn't, would do it again and, and uh, wouldn't have done it any other way. So we adopted three kids at the same time. They're all siblings and so of course they're three different ages. And, uh, and each one has reacted differently to, uh, to, I think, going through the foster system and being adopted. Um, for the oldest, um, she was seven years old when she came to live with us, and she was really attached to her birth family. And, uh, and I think that she's had, especially to her mom, and I think that she's had the hardest time. Um, the, uh, the middle boy, um, he feels like he has a foot in both worlds. Um, it seems like he has been deeply impacted by his um, by his birth family, and there's some some damage that's been done to him that he's got to heal from. But he's also gotten a lot of support from us, and he's doing great. So I think I think it's actually been a great experience for him, um, and he still struggles. Um, the youngest. Um, he came to live with us when he was four, and so to some significant degree, we're the family he knows best, and he's lived with us for overwhelmingly most of his life. And, uh, and so it feels like we're his family too, in every way that matters. I mean, they're all still connected to their birth family um, with visits, but, um, but they each, um, yeah, I think it, it's a balance for each of them. We had an unusual experience where uh, where I co-adopted the kids with the kids' grandmother. We weren't romantic partners in any way, but we decided to come together to adopt the kids, and that had never been done in the county of Santa Cruz before. And I think it was to the county's credit that they were willing to be creative to make a, a forever family for these kids. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work out that well. The, uh, the kids' grandmother um, had some kind of breakdown and uh, and yeah it just became very difficult to live with for the kids and for myself and for my my parents and uh, ultimately we had to separate and went through a court battle so that was a really challenging experience um, 
it's one of those things that uh, that I appreciate that the county was creative when they were um, putting up this family together but I wish they had a bit more experience because they might have recognized that that arrangement uh, probably would, would not have worked from the very beginning. Sometimes placements with relatives just don't work out for various reasons. After a search is made, maybe no safe place or a family that's available is found. So then placement in out of family care is necessary. And then it's still really important for foster children to have continued contact with their biological families when safe. Welcome to Yogurland. Yogurland is a self-serve yogurt. You can put as much yogurt in the cup can fit. The yogurt is healthier and more tastier version of ice cream. We have a large variety of toppings. We have Oreos, fruits, and more. Visit us at 19554 First Avenue Suite A4 in Capitola or call us at 831-462-3100. Concessions stand at both low vents like carnivals and fairs. Come get your high quality kettle corn from coast to coast. We Bob the, the most. most. Santa Cruz Live Scan is a fingerprinting business that is different than the others in Santa Cruz. It has mobile scans as well as it has an office. Santa Cruz Live Scan is located in downtown Santa Cruz, 877 Cedar Street, inside the Cruzio building. This is where people who need a fingerprint come in and get a scan. You do not need to call to cruise into the office. Office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Santa Cruz Live Scan's phone number is 831-621-5041. Call anytime for any questions. Are you trying to satisfy your sweet tooth? The Marinis of the Beach is the place for you. Pick from a wide selection from candy apples, gummies, chocolates, and all the way to taffy. Here at Marini's, we put love into every cotton candy that we make right here in front of the store. Make sure to visit us at the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Marini's is also hiring all season round, flexible hours starting at $12 an hour. Contact us now for more information. Claudio Franza, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, located in Santa Cruz, San Jose, and Watsonville. Here at Claudio Franza, we offer classes to all ages over four years old. Also, first class is on us. Claudio Franza, the owner of the schools, has been doing jiu-jitsu for over 40 years and has been at the rank of black belt for over 20. We have adult classes every morning and evening, except for Sundays, and we offer classes to kids every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Claudio Franza, come roll with us. Welcome to Seascape Village Wine and Spirits, where the staff is friendly and the products available are the best of its kind. Finding a good selection of wine, spirits, snacks, non-alcoholic beverages, and much, much more is hard to find nowadays in the society that we live in. At Seascape Village Wine and Spirits, all these options are available at your service at great affordable prices. Located in the beautiful Seascape Village, Seascape Village Wine and Spirits has the best selection of products proven to make any type of event you are throwing a great success. Stop by at 20 Seascape Resort Drive, Aptos, California, 95003, or call 831-662-9108 for any questions. Welcome to the Seascape Sports Club. Here at the Sports Club, we have many fun things to offer, such as pools, tennis courts, gyms with state-of-the-art cardio equipment, a volleyball court, a bar and bistro, as well as a daycare for your kids. And what other gym can offer an ocean view while you work out? Call or visit the Seascape Sports Club website for more information. 
Welcome to Central Coast Cotillion, where we build confidence, courtesy, and character in teens and young adults as they learn basic and necessary social courtesies such as greetings, posture, conversation skills, dining skills, and more, as well as the basic steps to ballroom dances, all in a fun, relaxed environment with their peers. Classes are held once a month on Monday nights at the Best Western Seacliff Inn in Aptos. To reserve a private booking, register for a class, or learn more, visit centralcoastcotillion.com. Little Sprouts Preschool is a high-quality program that strives to develop the whole child. It is carefully designed to support students' various interests and talents, as well as their emotional and inner development. Little Sprouts inspires education through hands-on play and learning activities, as well as exceptional care and a loving and supportive environment where your children can blossom. We offer part-time enrollment, organic snacks and lunches, a country-like environment, a small class size, and a diverse and exciting curriculum, including yoga and lessons in mindfulness. If you are looking for an exceptional program for your preschooler, go to www.littlesproutspreschool.com. ShipSmart packs crates and ships antiques, artwork, electronics, and more. The office is located on 783 Rio Del Mar Boulevard, Suite 9, Aptos 95003. If you need to ship items that are too large or fragile for UPS, but too small to meet large moving company minimums, call 1-800-554-5574. Welcome to Pleasant Valley Horse Club, where you ride, play, and so much more, which includes educational facts about horses and how to put tack on them. When you have enough experience, you will take more advanced courses. Contact them now. Call 831-763-2733. And again, that is 831-763-2733. Or email them at phc at lao.com. And again, that is phc at lao.com. For more information, look on their website at www.pleasantvalleykidsclub.com. We're at Subway on 1241st Avenue in Capitola. Let's see what they have to offer. Looks like they have a wide selection of different breads that you can choose from, as well as chicken and broccoli soup. They also have a variety of different sandwiches that you can choose from, along with the Fresh Value Meals, which sells a 6-inch sub, drink, and chips for only $6.53 after tax. Many different chip options to choose from, like Classic Lay's, Jalapeno, Salt and Vinegar, and much more. Freshly baked cookies are made every morning. They're delicious. So come on into Sub Subway on 41st. Subway. Eat fresh. Welcome to Wonderland and SoCal, a great little area off SoCal Drive near the highway. They have toys, classroom supplies, and teacher resources for school. Or if you're not into that, they also have fun learning devices, books, or activities for all ages. Looking to paint something new or jot down ideas? They have campuses and drawing paper to make your ideas come to life. Friendly staff is waiting to meet you, and a perfect 5-star rating won't have you down if you came to the right place. Come on down to Wonderland at SoCal. Come to Santa Cruz LiveScan for all your fingerprinting needs. We're open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Located at 877 Cedar Street, Santa Cruz, California. Call 831-621-5041 for more information. Welcome to Tiny Dancer Ballet School where creativity thrives and dreams come true. Here at Tiny Dancer Ballet School, we provide acrobatics, ballet, hip hop, jazz, and tap for ages two to 16. Call us at 831-222-0082. Are you tired and just need a break? Well, you've came to the right place. Come down to the Prop Top Nails where you will get treated just right for the day. Service where you can have a relaxation evening to come with your friends and family to get your nails done for an affordable price. So don't hesitate and come have a great time here at Prop Top Nails, located in Watsonville. For more information, you can visit their website. If you have questions or concerns, call at 831-724-497. Man, I don't know any place to go grab a good bite to eat and watch the football game. Well, why don't we go grab a burger at Carmona's? Sounds like a great idea. Carmona's is the place to go when you're craving good old American barbecue. Since 2012, Carmona's has held quality local dining and hospitality as its top priority. They offer high quality meats, award winning clam chowder, and exquisite salad selections. Hey man, that was a good burger. 
I was guessing you would say that. Ha -ha. What are you waiting for? Bring the gang on down to Carmona's barbecue. Or just call us. If you're looking to get your driver's license but don't have the required hours of behind the wheel training, enroll at Surf Check Driving School. With experienced instructors, your choice of lesson time and meeting place, you are guaranteed to get your license faster than. Visit our website for more information or call at 831 566-0214